Is it graffiti, art, or blight? And when it comes to murals, should you have the right to put one up on your own property? Well, that's the debate raging in Warren tonight after a graffiti artist says he was told to take down his work. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury picks up the story from here. Under this light turquoise paint was graffiti. The homeowner did it himself. Is it art? Well, whatever it is, the city told him to paint over it. Completely up to interpretation. Michael Esser is a graffiti artist and uses the side of his garage wall as a canvas. It started last summer with this. The word juice is his artist name. Nothing is explicit. There's no nudity, no vulgarity. Michael said the city told him he's in violation of the blight ordinance after a neighbor complained. We really can't deface our own property. He then painted a few more times, facing more fines from the city. He finally stopped spray painting the wall and instead did his work on a mobile canvas until his neighbor put up a fence recently. Now only a few neighbors can see his work. If I was to paint it all over the front of my house, I could understand why somebody would have a problem with it. Nobody wants to see it. Mm -hmm. And it brings down our property values. Next door neighbor Joe Cobb says he's one of the folks who complained. He spray paints. I got to close the windows and doors because all that fumes come right in the house. Joe says his new fence doesn't cover up the view. It doesn't matter. I can see it right from my kitchen window mm -hmm. or my patio. Mm -hmm. you know, and the neighbors across the street from me can see can see it. Michael had this up before being told by the city once again to cover it. He says he spent thousands to fight for his work. Between lawyer fees and missed work. But he's read up on ordinances and put these opinion signs up, which are apparently legal. He says his neighbors could have avoided all of this. All you had to do was say something to me. And I'm, I'm easy to get along with. It, wouldn't, it didn't have to come to this, you know, but I've refused to be bullied. And Michael says he plans to continue to fight the city in order to put his graffiti art back up in the backyard. In the meantime, he's hoping to add a third sign here because he says the ordinance allows three opinion signs. In Warren, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. All right, Simon, thank you. Coming up on 7 Action News.